to say it was Tuesday. Um, I was sitting down recording some undisputed gameplay um, to do potentially a future video on that I was going to release. I went to close out of undisputed. Like I quit to desktop everything and like it hung and it like froze for a second. And then my PC completely crashed. Like, everything turned off. Like, okay, that's weird. So I go to turn my PC back on, and I get a blue screen of death. So I... Um, take basically everything out. I take my RAM out. I take my GPU out. I unhook all my hard drives and then plug everything back in, start my computer back up. And it tells me that I do not have an operating system installed on my computer. I get this thing basically saying like Windows 10 is not installed on this computer. Insert installation media, da 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 da. And so I was like, did my like hard drive just fail? Did my boot drive just like fail randomly just now? So I um, get my flash drive and I, um, I put a Windows pre-installation environment on my flash drive so I boot to the flash drive and I'm able to actually you know, access a Windows Explorer and stuff off the flash drive. So I go in and I can see that no, my, my drive is fine, all my files are still there and everything like that, all my data is still there. And then I go, so I'm like, okay. So I run a system file checker using that um, Windows pre-installation environment. And it said that there were um, corrupted system files in Windows. So I fixed that and I actually ended up just going back to a restore point on my PC that was like a week and a half old at that point. So I was like, yeah, it's fine. I'm not going to lose anything important. And yeah, it was just super bizarre. Um, somehow, I don't know if undisputed crashing corrupted a file or something. I'm not sure. Uh, but uh, I don't think I'll be doing any more undisputed gameplay on the channel following that and but then the weirdest thing happened following that none of my audio was working my audio in wasn't working my audio out wasn't working I'm like that's weird and I could see that like I could see the the sound bars and stuff you know, what's interesting is audio would output to the built-in speakers on my Blue Yeti. So if I plugged headphones into my Blue Yeti, I could hear my computer audio, but it wouldn't play out of my speakers. It wouldn't play out of the front or the rear 3.5 millimeter jacks. And doing this channel and editing and stuff like that that I do for work, I need to be able to hear and plugging into my microphone at all times is not really a solution, right? That's not a permanent solution. So I had to order a external audio card, which I didn't even realize they like made anymore. It seems like a very 90s, early 2000s thing. Um, but I got this external audio card and it's actually been perfect. I can plug everything into the audio card. It has built-in equalizer, sound control, and like if the, the audio quality is like better than what was coming out of my 3.5 millimeter jacks I don't know what happened because like the jacks still aren't working I don't know if it's like a real tech issue I uninstalled reinstalled real tech drivers like if my motherboard's audio controller just <laughs> happened to fail at the exact same time all this other stuff went down like that is a massive coincidence. I don't even know what to think.
quick at that point, but um, anyways, I'm back. Oh, last week I was not able to make any content. Like, I, I'm grateful I batched a ton of uploads, so like, you know, last week I decided, like, let's like record my whole week's videos in like a day and a half. Because, like, I haven't been able to record since Tuesday. It's now Saturday night. I finally have things functional again, so... Um, yeah, bear with me. Anyways, today... I'm a little bit late on this, but I wanted to take a look at the new NRL jerseys for 2024. The Australian National Rugby League. Uh, which I started getting into last year. For the first time in my life and uh you know fell in love with it pretty quick i'm gonna keep following it this season um local team to me is the benrith panthers they've been you know they just completed a three-peat after one of the greatest grand final games of all time watching that live was something else the roller coasters but anyways let's get into this so we have I'm using this website, um, League Unlimited Media. They have the 2024 NRL jerseys. And we're going to start off with the Brisbane Broncos, who Penrith defeated in that um, grand final. And honestly, I think the Broncos are good enough. They probably could get back there this season if they stay healthy, if they go. I expect them to be top three in the table. I think the Panthers might take a step back this season. They've lost some guys. I think they're still good enough to finish top four. I think the Panthers are still good enough to probably get back to a grand final, but I could see Brisbane Broncos finishing one or two. I could also I think the Warriors also are going to be one or two up there, maybe even three, but they had a great season as well. Anyways, the Broncos, here's their home kit. Absolutely great colors. I love the, the Broncos color scheme, that maroon and orange. Is that a maroon or a burgundy? I don't know, maybe it's a burgundy. But I love the orange team crest there, the orange A6 logo. I wish that they would have done the Telstra Premiership in orange as well, but maybe there's some stipulations that they couldn't do that. I don't mind the diagonal split pattern jersey here. Usually I wouldn't like things like that, but it just kind of works here. This is very reminiscent of their last season jersey. Doesn't seem that much different, but I do quite like it. I would say I'll probably give this uh, an A. And we'll go B+. Plus. I'll go B+. Plus. Let's look at the away. I really like this away with the collar, like a polo style shirt. I guess they're called rugby shirts as well. That style with the collars, that makes sense. This is super clean. I love the, the colors on the shoulder coming into the sleeves, but you have the white cuffs there. The little split design here isn't doing it for me as much on the aways. I think it might look better if they got rid of that little design pattern. But I really like this as well. The Brisbane Broncos have two really nice jerseys for 2024. This one right here, I'll give this a B plus as well. Actually, no, I'll give this one an A. I'll give the away an A. I do like it better than their home. It's super clean. I love the collar. I'll give that one an A. The Canberra Raiders, they've updated their logo apparently. That's doesn't look that different from the old logo to me. I don't really see what they changed, but that's okay. And here we go. Camber Milk. I really dislike having the white box both around the Camber Milk and around the forklift sponsor. It just doesn't... It does not flow well. Yeah, this does not... This looks kind of clunky, if I'm being honest, and then having that, like, green patch behind the Telstra Championship logo that's, like, a slightly different green. I, I, man, I 
don't really like this. I'm gonna give this a, a D. I'm gonna say this is below average, honestly. I usually like the Aways better though, so let's look at the Away. Yeah, that's way better. That is way better already. That's miles better. The they keep the white box around the door to forklifts, but it works into the design because you have those stripes there coming up, which match the sleeves. The camber milk is in blue, which matches the collar. Yeah, I like this quite a bit actually. I'm gonna give this a C plus. A C plus. Come to the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs. Who's their manufacturer, by the way? ISC, okay. I like that every team gets to use whatever uh, manufacturer they like instead of having one chosen by the league. I like that approach better. Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs. Okay, looks like they have both in the same picture there. It's just the same thing, but inverted. Now I know that this is kind of like their thing, like they don't really uh, delineate from this design, right? That's kind of what the Bulldogs have always looked like, you know, kind of like an Arsenal or, you know, a Real Madrid or something like that. Like, you know, they're always going to do the same sort of thing with their jerseys. I don't love it, I don't hate it, I'm gonna give it a, just for me, it's a straight up C, it's, it's just about average. Cronulla Sutherland Sharks. I like that shade of blue. It's a nice blue. You have the red Aramex, matches up with the red points bet there. You know, the NRL, they actually, they're playing a game in Vegas. I don't know if it's already happened. By the time you see this video, this is going to be coming out on your Sunday, my Monday. I don't know if it's already happened by then. I'm recording this my Saturday night, like I said. Um, but anyways, yeah, check that out if you're interested. The game in Vegas should be nice. They're playing at Allegiant Stadium. Um, back to the kit. It's alright. It's it's nothing special. I'll give it a C. I'll say it's just about average. Let's look at the away. Yeah. That's better, I think. The black with the hints of that blue is nice. I wish they would have gone for black in the middle where the Aramex sponsorship is. If that was black, that'd look better in my opinion. Um, I'll give that a C as well, but I do like it better. Let's come to the Dolphins. I love that shade of gold contrasting with that red. I really like that. I, I'm not a huge fan of Adventure Kings. They could have gone with the gold there and used the gold stroke, and I feel like that would have looked better. Now I know with sponsorships, like sometimes you can't, like whatever, I get it. But I can still think it could look better. Um, but I do like the color scheme, I like the design, the white chevrons. there. The away is better. The away is better. Um, again, I wish the color on the NRL Delstra Champion Premiership thing was different. And the stroke on the Kings once again, but I like the red chevrons better and the way it ties into the, the lining. I'll give this one a, a B minus. I'll go B minus there. And the alternate. That's my favorite of the three, but I still think B minus. B 
Nothing to write home about, but it's not ugly. I'm gonna give that a. I'll give it a C plus. I'll give that a C plus. And I'll go. I'll go. I'll go B minus. Actually, I'll go B minus on that. B minus. on that one. That's that's bordering on a D, but I'm gonna go C minus. Newcastle Knights, that's busy. That's busy. Honestly, it's not, it's not bad. The Toyota looks cool, the colors are fine. I could give that a solid, uh, I'll give that a, a C plus, I'll give that a C plus. And the away, and I don't like that as much. I don't like that. 
as much. I'm going to give that a C minus. C minus. Parramatta Eels, they almost always have nice jerseys. And yeah, that's no exception. The yellow stripes, but they're kind of like these diagonal ashes. I, that's a nice look. I don't know if you, that's even really a gradient. I don't know if you'd call that a gradient, but that looks good. The, the light blue into the dark blue and back again. I'll give that a, a B plus. I'll give that a B plus. Let's look at the away. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's nice. That's actually really nice. Um Yeah. I love the the sort of fade out on those top lines. I'll give that an A. Yeah, I'll, I'll give that an A. That's my second favorite so far, I'd say, behind the uh the Brisbane Broncos away shirt. I really like that. Penrith Panthers is my local team. Let's see the home. They got rid of the Oak Milk sponsorship, which I I dislike. I don't like the My Place as much. I thought the Oak Milk looked really good. Um, you know, it is good. I like the I like the black look. I like the little collar on there. The the three colored stripes are all good touches, but I have to be realistic here, not be a homer. Um, there's better shirts. I'm gonna give this a, I'm gonna give this a B plus. B plus. And I haven't seen these yet. I hope the away is the pink. Because I love the pink. Okay, cool. They kept the pink. They kept the pink. And that's, that's good for me. Like, I, I don't, you know, you guys know pink is my favorite color. My favorite team. The team I go for having a pink shirt. Like, that's dope. And I really like this. The yellow um, sponsorships definitely take away from it. They even could have gotten those like in black or something. It would look better. But I'm gonna give this uh, an A minus. A minus. Um, they have an alternate. It's it's all right. I see what they're going for, and I can appreciate it. Um, you know, do you have the uh, uh, indigenous designs on there? Um, I'll go. I'll go with a, a, a B plus as well on that one. All right, with the Saint George Illawarra Dragons. Yeah, so they're gonna have a different. Um, sponsor next season because the St. George Bank is no longer sponsoring them. It's alright. It's it's kind of boring. It's like to write down about. I'll give it a C minus. C minus just because the blue on the arms is kind of eh. The alternate so they don't even have an away revealed yet. That's the alternate. I don't like that this stripe Above the crest and the that if that top stripe on the front didn't exist, I'd like this better. But that top stripe being there makes this whole thing look weird, honestly. And I'm gonna because of that I have to give this a D. I have to say that's below average in my opinion. <coughs> South Sydney Rabbitohs. Now I have to say I was disappointed when I watched that. Perth Elimination Chamber WWE event, there was no random Souths guy in the audience. What's going on? There always has to be a random Souths guy at any sporting event, not even in Australia, in the world. Um, but here's the thing, I do not like green on sports shirts. And I think green and red together is just an ugly combination. I understand, like, it's a super popular team. Very successful. I just personally think it's an ugly color combination. I feel the same way about Norwich City. 
Um, so for me, just because I really don't like the colors here, I have to give it a D. I have to say it's below average. It's just a striped shirt. The Away is the same exact thing, but with white instead of black. I guess they realize nobody else is going to be using green and red, right? So they can wear it either way. Again, it's the same thing, so I'm going to give it the same score. It's a D. It's below average. Sydney Roosters. Okay. I don't know why, but I've never really liked their shirts that much. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it's like the the, the, the triangle. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna give this a, a I'm gonna just give it a C straight up. I'll say it's just about being on average. This is a little bit better. I don't like that the Stagles is a different shade of blue than the Chevron is. I'll give this one a C plus. The Warriors. Now this is a nice shirt. And I think, like I said, I think the Warriors are going to potentially be top four this season. Um, they were really exciting to watch last season. They were a really good team, especially down the stretch. They were really good. Um, I'm going to give that a, a B plus straight up. I really like the design. For me, B plus. Oh, that one not so much. That one, not so much. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna go C minus there. I just, I don't know what it is. Again, he had that top stripe there, which I don't know why, just that bugs me a bit. Like this, to me, this is amazing. I love the little designs, everything. That looks great. But that one just does not give me that same vibe. C minus. West Tigers. Who got Jerome Luai from the Panthers. I don't know if they'll be any better even with him. Like they've always kind of been a lower tier team. Well at least, you know, as far as I'm aware. Like I've only looked back a couple seasons, but um you know, for a team called the Tigers, you know, you think I'd, you know, I don't think the Tigers are my favorite animals. They're not really uh, paying homage to the name, but, you know, I, I kind of like it. You know, the orange chevron there, the orange bits on the side, coming around around the white. The, the hard line there where it kind of cuts off is kind of weird. I don't know why they do that, but it's honestly not bad, but it's not great. I'll give it a C. I'll give it a C. It's just about average to me. This is a little bit nicer. I'll give that one a C plus. Give that a C plus. No state of origin. New South Wales. Now here's the thing. I don't really get into state of origin as a lot of like Australians here do. It's because you know I'm not from here. I wasn't born here. Like, okay, I live in New South Wales, but, like, I, I wasn't born here, so it's like I have, like, state pride, right? Um, so, like, it's cool, and I go watch it, but, like, I know some people get, like, way into it, like, even more than the than the club stuff during the season. Like, I know some people that just watch State of Origin, right? So, for me, the club stuff's, you know, gonna be better to watch, but I like the Puma, the, the Crest, the West Pack there. The Dewey's is kind of like, whatever, it's fine. Um, you know, the red, if the, if the Westpac wasn't there, the red would really clash on it, but I'll give it a, a C plus, C plus. And then you have Queensland, okay, yeah, I like the collar. I like the collar. You know, it reminds me a lot of the Brisbane shirt. You even have the same colors as the Brisbane shirt. I think it's funny Westpac sponsors them both. Um, yeah, it's.
minutes. This one's definitely better. I'll give that a I'll give that a, a an A minus. An A minus get the yellow on the um, sleeves, but you know my favorite kits this season that I've seen so far definitely this. The Warriors one, that's probably number three. Um, number four would probably be here, the away kit for the, for the Panthers. Number two, that Parramatta Eels away shirt, that's amazing. Great looking kit. And easily my favorite kit this season, and I think looks the nicest, is... That Brisbane Broncos away shirt. I just really, really like that shirt quite a bit. So, there you have it, guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of the kids this season. Again, I'm sorry I'm a little bit late with this, but um, yeah, the season should be starting up here relatively soon. I definitely am going to be getting out to a, at least one Panthers game this season, if not two. Um, so, yeah, I might make a video about that if, I, if and when I do go. If you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up 